So let's see what's our next topic here that we need to cover. So let's talk a little bit about modifying the super elevation sections and just some of this other tools that we have available for editing things. Okay. So there's many tools in Open Roads Designer um, to do the editing. Um, we can edit graphically the lanes, as I showed previously. So let me hop back over to our super file for State Route 97 here real quick. Okay, so I think I showed you previously when we place these super elevations here, you know, if we need to make changes, you can just graphically pick the dynamic text and change it there. Um, you can also pick the uh, little triangular wedge here and you can move those around as needed. Um, that's just one way that you can do it from the, from the plan view portion. Um, if you need to change the super elevation design criteria after you've already processed and calculated the transitions, you can do that as well. So say somewhere along the line, someone comes along and says, hey, you know, we need to change the design speed for this road. Um, you know, maybe a scenario is like, okay, we need to reduce the design speed for whatever reason. All you have to do is select the super elevation section, come in here and select a different design speed. And it'll go through and recalculate all your super elevation transitions. Okay, since everything's rules based and it's based on this rules file, in this particular case, it'll go through and reprocess all those transitions for us based on your new design criteria. Okay, so very easy to update if you need to do that. So let's take a look at another way we can review and make some edits to our, our super elevation information. For those folks that are like to see a super elevation diagram, we do have the ability to view and edit uh, the super elevation information in a diagram format. So let me show you how we can do that. So I'm just going to come over here and select my super elevation section. It's going to hover there for a second. You're going to see this icon here. It's called Open Super Elevation Model. So I'm going to come down here to view number eight. We're going to take a look at the super elevation diagram in view number eight. So it's a special super elevation managed model in the software, and it'll display the various super elevation control lines here in a manage model view. Okay, so you can see here, we have all our different control lines for our different lane edges here. Okay, there's also some constraint points here for where it transitions from normal crown to full super. These are dynamic graphics. So once again, if you do need to make changes, you could just simply select a control line enter a different value in the input fields here. So let's just take a quick look at making a quick change to one of my lanes here. So you can see this can get pretty uh, pretty messy depending on how many lanes you have here. I got four different control lines here, but you can isolate these just by simply doing a right click and say select lanes to display. So I wanna work on my uh, which lane do I want to look at here? Let's look on this left lane here. I'll make a change to that one. C L L E O P L. We'll just display that one lane there. Let's talk about making some basic changes to this super elevation control line here or this diagram. Okay, so if you just want to make a simple change, like changing a cross slope, you can just select this line. Let's say we want to change this full super value. Maybe you want to change it to 4%. So I'm just going to key in 4 there. That's going to go ahead and make that change. Okay. So now we have 4% there. We can do that anywhere along the way here. We want to make some small tweaks to the, uh, to the super. Okay. So that's one way we could do it. Now, another way that we can make some adjustments is by utilizing the super elevation table editor, okay, where it loads this information into more of a table editor type of view where you can work with it as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go up to the super elevation editor. 
I'm going to select my section here. And then what you see here up in the top portion of the dialog is the super elevation diagram. It's more of a static diagram. It's not as dynamic as the one in our super elevation manage model, but that's okay. Um, but we have all the super elevation information reported in more of a tabular format here. And again, you can see the different lane, lanes and the stations and the cross slopes, as well as the pivot edges. You can see the point types, as well as the different constraints between some of the points. Okay. If you need to make some changes here, again, just simply go into the fields and uh, make the changes into the appropriate fields. Notice some of the fields are grayed out. That means they are fully constrained, so you're not able to make any changes there. But any field that's uh, fully black text is able to be edited. Okay, so you can see here, full super. If we wanted to change that back to 3.8, we could do that here. So there's many different ways that we can edit this information in the software. Also, if you don't want to see the diagram at the top and you just want to focus in on the table, you can do that by just toggling on a little green toggle here, toggle the diagram on and off. Also notice there's some additional tools here if you want to create some new sections, new control lines, or delete some information from the table. If you want to import super elevation like I did with the spreadsheet, you can import that directly into the table here, as well as deactivate rules create additional lanes and delete super elevation information. So a lot of flexibility here with the, uh, the super elevation tool. So let's talk a little bit about uh, modifying some lanes, right? So let's go over to the beginning of our project here. Um, we first created this. We assume that the uh, beginning cross slopes here were gonna be minus 2%. Um, sometimes, you know, we're working on a project, you may have to match the existing cross slopes at the beginning and end of a project. So one of the ways that you could do that is just by simply changing the uh, the cross slope here and then splitting up the lanes to do another transition on the lane without having to create a whole new set of uh, cross uh, super elevation lanes. So let's talk about how we could do that real quick. So what I want to do here is I want to adjust my beginning cross slope of my project here to match the existing conditions, which in this case is minus 1.6%. So I'm going to click on my left lane here. I'm going to do a minus 1.6 there. I'm going to do a minus or do a 1.6 here. Okay, so it's going to change the slopes there. But now that I did that, I need to transition back to the normal crown. So I need to add in an additional set of uh, slopes there. So I'm going to do that by utilizing the insert cross slope tool. So another way that we can edit things is just, we'll just come over here and say insert station cross slope. So I'm going to add another cross slope transition at station 540 for the westbound lane here. Okay, so we're going to transition from minus 1.6 to 2, and then we'll be back to 2 here, and then it can go do the rest of its transitions as needed. So I'm going to select my section, bring my tool over here so you can see what, what I'm doing. So I'm going to select my westbound lane here. I'm just going to go through the, the box here. So my distance constraint, I'm going to set as none. My slope constraint, I'm going to set as none. We're going to pivot about the right edge in this case. And our transition type is going to be linear. And then our cross slope is going to be 540 plus 00. zero. So I'm going to set that transition right there for the back to 2% or minus 2%. So that's key in minus two. And then this is going to be a normal crown right there. So let's set the type to just normal crown. And we'll left click to accept that. And that's going to add that to our lane. Okay, so now we've added an additional cross slope into our lane. So now we have a nice transition from minus six to minus two. And then now we continue the minus two up until we need to start doing our super elevation transitions when we get near the curve. Okay, so let's utilize that same process for the eastbound lane once again. I'm not going to go and do every single part of the project here today because for time purposes, but just to show you that we can do this. So we'll go ahead and select the eastbound lane now. Just kind of click through the prompts here. This will be right edge again. Pivot point, linear, 
And once again, we'll be at 540, so zero, zero. And we'll be at 2% this time. And we'll set that for normal crown as the point type. And then we're good to go. Okay, so now if we select our lane, you can see it added in that 2% at 540. And we have that transition happening there nicely for us. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.